What's up to all of you guys out there in the deep space area tuning in today? Welcome back to another episode of The Talking Sparrow out here in deep space. As always, I'm your host, a sparrow with a gun from Sleepless Nights. And this is Sleepless Nights Galnet Talk Radio Frequency 1138. So happy you're tuning in today. We are going to be exploring some more. Okay, sorry, I can't hold that any longer. <laughs> <laughs> and in case you're wondering, what madness is this? Um, unlock. Unlock. Lock that. Um, basically, I went to record today and I was just thinking about how the past few episodes have just kind of been me talking while flying, and I was like, this is kind of like a radio show. So I thought it'd be funny to open as a radio show. Um, we're doing things a little bit different today. I'm putting the pedal to the metal a little bit, um, because I don't really know how much money I'm making off of these little scans and scanning individual stars and things like that. And since all I'm really scanning is the stars anyway, I kind of just want to get my butt in gear and get moving. Um, we are actually 997 light years away from Herschel, which was our original marking point before we set off to go to the other station and then to the center and all that stuff. So basically what I'm going to end up doing... Fuel scooping. Oh, this is kind of cool. We've got a normal star and a, I think that's a dwarf over there. Uh, what I'm basically going to be doing, and you'll probably see me doing it right now, is... I'm doing the the Hong Kong scan, but I'm not really stopping to look at anything, uh, to scan the stars and stuff like that. And I've already set up. I gotta check the name. But I've already set up a point where I can refuel. So I'll probably just do my standard stop and fuel in that regard. Um. I tell you what, we'll do a stop and fuel and see how far we get. That was two jumps. So that was two jumps. What that put us at? Although I am picking up fuel from like every star I go by. We have 33, so we have a total of 35, I guess. Friendship drive charging. So let's make it out to that point and see how long it takes us, and then we'll go from there. C206. Right. That's just what I'm going to remember. C206 is the one we need to stop at. Um, and we'll see how far we get before we have to refuel. And then the next set of jumps, which I think is like 150 or something before I have to refuel, that one we'll do with the flyby scoop and see if that helps us at all. Eh, we might as well do some here and there, I guess, but... I don't know that I scanned in the last jump. Fuel scoop disengaged. Or two, actually. Frame shift drive charging. I don't know if I did that or not. <laughs> Whoops. But yeah, so we're actually closing in on on Herschel, which is cool. But it just kind of dawned on me. A lot of people were telling me stars aren't worth a whole lot, and I'm not really stopping and scanning anything else. I mean, I was looking to see are they close, are they not, but I'm like... We've got so far to go that I'm just kind of done with scanning. I just want to go. So we're going to see how far we can get today. That's kind of the goal. It may We might lose some money, but meh. We'll get more. I was never really out for exploring for the money anyway. I was usually pretty much exploring for the, uh, the heck of it. So, yeah, there's that. Because I know a lot of times um, there is kind of a exploration career path, if you will, but that's definitely not what I'm planning on doing. I kind of just wanted a break from bounty hunting and stuff, so I don't mind uh, doing this for a little bit, and I wanted to say I've been to the center of the galaxy and all that kind of stuff, and I wanted to see how it looked. I thought that would be kind of cool. Actually, what I'm really interested to see is on the map, there's either a lot of close systems, or, um, there's a lot of big stars when you get closer to the, 
the center. So I've always kind of wanted to see what that was like here because it made me wonder is like when you look around is there just going to be a bunch of stars in one system or how's that work? So I'm kind of curious and I wanted to see how it works. I'd also actually like to see what the exact center point is and I know this is like, you know, a game so it's probably best guess. I mean, I doubt anyone's actually seen the center or whatever. Um, sorry, I'm getting kind of quiet because I feel like I'm going to sneeze. And don't worry, if I do, it won't be in my video, but I'm kind of like, please don't do it, please don't do it, please don't do it. Uh, where am I? Okay, we're not there yet. I was thinking, like, I'm just jumping around, though I probably would be lower on fuel, I guess. I don't know. But we'll see how this goes, but like I said, I'm not really worried about the money side of this right now. I I'm just, I'm looking at where we've gone and how long it's taken, and I'm like, we gotta do something. Because, uh, at this rate, I'm just not gonna get anywhere ever. Okay, and I need to check my map. I feel like I passed Excuse this. Me. Oh, I did. I passed it a while ago. Wait, how did I get... Disengaged. How did I get C206? Ah, oh, crap, it was B2. Oh, well. What about you? Is my next point refuelable? It is. Alright, so we'll just fuel at the next one then. It's pretty bad when you set a bookmark for something and then pass it. It's like... Though, in my defense, I did read the wrong name. I really thought it was C26 or C206 or whatever, and it was like B24. Whoops. My bad. It is still pretty cool how they did all of this, like the warp and stuff of seeing all the all the stars and stuff go by. All right, let's get ourselves parked here, uh, and we'll point get aligned here and point towards our next destination. It's somewhere about 340. That's usually my safe zone for re refueling. Okay, well, let's see. Let's do the math. We did 35 to 27. So, 5 and 2, 3. So, we did 8. So 8 jumps in about 8 minutes, give or take. So, that's pretty good. I don't know how many more jumps we have. Well, we have, heh, heh, I'm gonna go out of the limb here and say 27. You know what makes me think that? Because it says 27. Every once in a while, I think if my head wasn't attached, I'd lose it. Um. Oh, did I scan? I don't think I did. Nope, I did not. Ooh, that was a close one. Yeah, and see, like these, I could take my time and actually scan these, but they just take so long, and if they're not really going to be bringing me that much of a, what do you call it, compensation, it's kind of like, why bother? Okay, where's our next stop? Let's actually see if we can get the name here right. RNJ B90, B90. And that is scoopable. Sweet. And that would put us... Eh, we've still got quite a ways to go, actually. Exit, please. But we are making good time that I've already done one fuel thingy. And here's another one that we could do. Let's say this. Let's, let's try and hybrid these fueling structures, because... If if I'm going too far 
without knowing there's a spot to refuel. Granted, we haven't run into this, right? We haven't run into, I did a full route and never found a star I could scoop on. Um, I have a suspicion that the game designers did the algorithm on purpose that way, but I don't know for sure. Uh, it uh, They might actually have it set up to where if you follow a route, there may be routes where you are going to run out of fuel. Um, but, but, what I'm thinking is we'll run our ship till we're about halfway down on our fuel. Okay? Some would say a quarter, whatever. But I'm thinking let's go like a halfway, and then at the halfway mark, we'll start scooping a little bit, not like taking forever and refueling the tank all the time, but like doing our flyby scoop type thing. Um, and we'll just get what we can, all that kind of stuff. Just kind of... What is that? That looks kind of cool. I wonder if that's just a skybox or not. Frameshift drive charging. I've seen like this. I've never seen that blob before. That's kind of awesome. Four. I mean, I was looking in the galaxy map to see if it would show like a blob of stars with a nebula or something, but I'm not seeing one. That must just be part of the sky map I've never seen before. Or skybox. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Oh, or let's try a bit of a different one. That the next time we reach our refuel point, we'll do the flyby instead of the sit still. See how that goes. The only thing, well, the only thing with that is I've got to find a new spot and stuff anyway. But I do have to be refueled to see a good spot. So I guess that would work. Four, three, it might not take a system. Two, one, engage. I would actually like to see though if putting the pedal to the metal will actually let us get our full length away, like 900 some light years. That would be kind of cool. Fuel scooping. What did I say? RNJ B90, I think, was what I said was our fuel, fuel point. Drive charging. Closing in on you, Herschel. Okay, so if if we can gauge eight at a time, four, we three, should have two, one, four more jumps, because it's set for 23 left. Though, though, we did get eight because I did some scooping accidentally. So, probably should be seven to be more accurate. Oh, it's still on cooldown. Ah, that's a new one. Frame shift drive charging. I just gotta remember to, uh, I gotta remember to set off my pulse. Because I'm not 100% sure, but I think there's been a couple of systems where I actually missed it. Like I skipped them on accident. But I'm not sure. I might have gotten them all. I might have gotten them all. I can't quite recall. It's gonna be Dr. Seuss's next book. Fuel scooping. Fuel scoop disengaged. Here's a fun question. Does Dr. Friendship Seuss still make charging. books? I have no idea. Never really thought about it. I mean, you always read the classics, you know, One Fish, Two Fish, and all those kinds of things, or the cat and the hat, but it's like, I don't think there's any new books, because I'm pretty sure two, pretty one, sure he died a long time ago. That's why there's... I'm, I'm thinking there's no books, but I don't know if it was like a Disney thing where somebody kept going with the brand or not, now that I think about it. 
I just can't recall ever seeing anything new. Alright, so this is our new stop. Feels so, good. let's do our scoopy thing here. I want to keep that below the horizon line. Or, or Morning. Line. Temperature critical. I don't remember heating up this bad before, though. Alright, we gotta break it off. See, that's my only thing. That's right, I said when I fully refueled that way, it did heat up pretty bad. That's right. Now I remember. Fuel sleeping. So I don't know if this is for a full tank. Fuel scooping complete. I don't know if that is actually faster. Fuel scoop disengaged. Or not, to be honest, because it didn't at 300 of just sitting there, 340 just sitting there, it didn't really take too long to refuel. So I don't know if that's actually faster or not. For a full tank, because a full tank I seem to have to stop and go at it again. See, ooh, this is a problem. Because that's not scoopable. Alright, PSF C13. Now for this one... Okay, so is it just me or are the stars getting brighter? That might just be me, because I haven't been looking at the stars or I haven't let myself drift this far away because I have a feeling I'm pretty far away now because I'm running at like full speed we're at 24 C 25 so maybe I'm just far enough away the stars are brightening up now four three two one engage okay off we go but yeah, I was starting to say I might do the whole, like, half to a quarter of a tank and, like, uh, scoop again kind of thing. I just really like knowing that I've got a spot I can go to along my route when I run out of fuel kind of thing. And I'm always concerned that I'm going to try every few or every time my tank hits a certain point to start refueling again and I'm always concerned that you're gonna go too long on your route without finding one that you can refuel on um, and then you're kind of screwed but we're so far out here that I don't really want to have to lose all that data come back again do anything like that so it's like I really just kind of want to play it safe and not die basically um, that's kind of the general idea. Did I set? I did not. It's still in cooldown. There we go. Shift, drive, it was like normally it yells at me, and it did not. What was the name of this one again? PSF C thirteen. See, I did it again. I thought it was fourteen. It's because that star name was overlapping my bookmark. That's, that's not cool. That's dangerous. Send someone to the wrong star. I would like to point out... I gotta see what we're at when we stop here. Eh, maybe I'll do it on our next refuel point. Well, actually, never mind. I'm gonna have to look at it right now. When I... Drive, oh, I don't have to, I guess. 17. So you have 17. We started at 20. That should put us at 13. So we have like 1 to 2 or 2 to 3 more Four, refuels. Three, two, one, engage. Depending on how all this goes. So we're kind of going about a refuel every 8 to 10 minutes type of thing. By the, by the, if my estimates are correct. By my little stopwatch. So, 
frameshift That's drive not too bad, charging. actually. We might actually make it to Herschel, which is a 997 light year jump. So a max jump, uh, or a max route, I guess, within one episode, which is pretty impressive given what we've been doing. We've been having to stop somewhere around 600. Um, so, I mean, are we losing a little bit? Yeah, but not really, because I'm not scanning everything in the system. I've only been scanning the stars. So, and from what I've been told, the stars really aren't worth a whole lot. So, um, and I do know that I get a little bit... Okay, this is our next fuel Friendship stop. I do know I get a little bit off of that, um, off the horn. Because everybody was telling me that you do, you know, you get some just for discovering them. It's not a detailed discovery, so it's not like an exact. You know what? I keep saying that's a star map or a, a, star, a skybox, but that blob of stars looks like it's closer now. That's that's weird. I didn't think. I think the game accounted for all that. Oh, did I not complete my scan? Oh crap, too fast. Too fast. Come on. Been at him a little bit. There we go. Yeah. Oh my, there's no way. We're seeing the Herschel Nebula over here. Or Lagoon Nebula. Is that what that is? No way. If that's true, this game just became a whole lot more amazing to me. I mean... This map doesn't show the direction we're pointing, but out of all the directions, that's the closest nebula. I see. And it's got a lot of stars clustered in there. And our route happens to be pointing us towards that blob. Are you kidding me? So... Fuel scooping complete. The skybox is actually dynamic then? No way. Fuel scoop disengaged. No way. That's freaking awesome. I need to set another point. If that's true, my mind is just going to be blown. Alright, we're looking at FBX D118. FBX D118. Drive charging. Yeah, I really think that's, that's the thing. Because I was like, oh, that's a cool little blob. We should head over there. And as we're as we've been moving towards our destination, that nebula and cluster of stars is getting bigger. Man, if that's legit, I'm gonna be like totally mind blown. Cause I really thought that when you dropped into a star system, it was just like a default skybox that they did. I didn't think it was dynamically made through the star map thing. Because, you know, that's crazy. Frameship drive charging. Alright, let's get to going. Now I want to know. So if we're like two jumps away from the center or right at the edge of the nebula and then we look over and it's just like this whole area is nebula we'll know but it does seem like a little at a time it's getting larger that's crazy i'm totally blown away by that because i really did think it was just a a standard skybox like most games use fuel scooping Fuel scoop disengaged. Frameship drive charging. And we're making pretty good time, too. Let's see, we're at 25 ish minutes, 24 ish, something like that. Give or take. Four, three, 
So we're probably a little over halfway of my normal episode length. These are usually somewhere around 40 minutes. Um, but we only have probably one more good refuel. And then I could probably scoop a little bit somewhere along the way and make it to our destination point. Fuel scooping. Or I could scoop a little right now on my way here. That works too. I'm pretty much thinking that's legit because this blob is getting gigantic by comparison to when it was. That is nuts. That's just too nuts for me to wrap my head around right now. That's so crazy. It's not a skybox. Four, three, two, one. Wow. I am dumbfounded by that. That's freaking awesome. I really don't know how they made this game, to be honest. Like, um, I don't know how it keeps track of all of the systems and data and everybody's ships and information and locations and the, it's like, I don't, I don't get it. I mean, I went to school for that stuff of designing games and things and that still just blows my mind and hurts my head. So, that's like... <laughs> it's like, that's not a game, that's like it's whole, a whole persistent world. Mainly, it's not so much that it can't be done, I mean, a lot of the techniques are the same idea. Like, Minecraft is procedurally generated and stuff, but it's just the scale. The scale of it is just so massive that I don't know how they... I don't know how they did that. That's what blows my mind. Um... Why did that not fire? Yeah, like, now all of the, uh... Now we're almost on the nebula, like I mentioned before. As we get a little further away, there's the nebula pocket over there, but the stars are all kind of spreading out now. They're not quite so clustered together like they were. That's nuts. Drive charging. That's intense, man. That's crazy. So after a certain distance point, you can actually start seeing your destination. Wow. That makes me wonder if all of those in the background are... Uh, skybox at all, or if that's all nebulas and star systems that you're seeing out there that's making that band. I mean, I know that's what it would be in real space, but in the game I always figured it was just an image, but I don't know. That That's kind of freaky. It does make me wonder. Frameshift drive charging. That's nuts. Yeah, see, like all that, it's it's supposed to be all the stars and everything, but who would actually think that that is? I figured that was just your skybox image that, you know, you can fly towards it and it never gets any bigger. Because it's just a flat picture. Hmm. <laughs> that almost makes me wonder... If you were to just fly at, like, impulse power... Ooh! This is kind of what I was looking for the other day. When I said the whole pure white thing. That's like a straight up pure white. That's like... Really white. <laughs> I mean, that's really cool. What does this come up as? A white white? A blue white. Hmm... Fascinating. So we have found a blue-white star. Fuel scooping. That is quite interesting. Let's see if we can hold it somewhere around 440 instead of 340. See if we can get away with that. Let's see. Oh, I can't uh, refuel or er, check my jumps yet. Seven! I should be able to make it to Herschel from this point. That is a really cool star, though. I really like that. Alright. 
Alright, so 440 seems okay. Let's try... Let's try and push it a little bit more. I'm trying to get a gauge on where I would actually have to stop before I would overheat, but that also gives me the maximum amount of fuel. And I know my max fuel intake is like 620. Well, okay then. We'll have to check 500 next time. Alright, let's see if we can make it to Herschel. Come on, survey says we can. I think. Fuel skip. Yes, we can. Awesome. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there today. Drive Just to make sure I scan this. I think I did. Yeah, I did. That's right. Because it was actually floating there telling me stuff. Yeah, this is so crazy. Four, three, two, one, engage. That's awesome. I am very impressed right now. I was already impressed with this game overall, but that's just way more impressive to me now. Um, okay, that was weird. It just, for no reason, popped me into my chat window. Because reasons. Frameshift drive charging. Yeah, and the nebula bubble's getting bigger too, it looks like. I'm not getting far away enough from the star for the light to change, but yeah, that blob's getting bigger. That's just so nuts. Like, what did they do? What kind of black magic did they use on the computers for this? That's what I started to say. It's not so much the... Um, the techniques that they've used in terms of procedural generation and seeding and stuff like that, it's mainly just that they did so much. Whereas it's like, even Minecraft is kind of crazy in the procedural generation that it can go forever, essentially. Well, I take that back. Um, that, that was the, I don't know if they ever found it or not, but there was the speculation of the Far Lands or whatever. Uh, where if you went to a certain point, the seeds would start getting all screwed up or something, or it would stop generating or something. I don't remember. That's where you got the that one really big YouTuber. I think he was one of the uh, either one of the Minecraft group or was very close knit with them, but did the Farlands or Bust series, where it was like he just ran in the same direction all the time to just see if he could find the end, um, which is kind of cool. I mean, that's that's a fun idea to try. Uh, that's an interesting name for a system right there. Tumas J... Tumas, whatever. Tumas J1803... I mean, yeah. Computer didn't name that sucker or anything. It's just... It's the second mass body that I found in let's name it serial number, blah 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 blah. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, look how large this nebula cloud is now. That's crazy sauce. What is going on with this game? Um, but yeah, and it's like this. There's like, what was it? It's like four billion star systems or something like that. And the same with No Man's Sky, where there's just, you know, uh, quintillion planets for you to land on. And you're just like, huh? And it, again, it's not so much the idea of, um, can something that large be, or not large, but can those algorithms handle it? It's how do you store it? You know, it's it's like how do you store all of the data for four billion star systems and all of their planets? It's like, uh, I, I don't. That's the part I don't understand is how they did all that. And and by comparison to some games, Elite's not a big game. Neither is No Man's Sky. Neither is Minecraft. Like, none of them are big games. They do take up a lot of RAM. Um, but, well, Minecraft does anyway, but it's not particularly super optimized or anything in that regard. But, um, it, no, so it's just one of those, like, it, it perplexes me sometimes. Because you're like, all of that data has to go somewhere. All of the saved information about... X amount of planets or whatever, they gotta go somewhere. Otherwise, how is uh, two people running into the same star system with the same data? I could see if it was procedurally generated for every person's world, 
but you would still need to store it somewhere and that's what my my head starts hurting about after after a bit is how do you store all this information and, and keep it below other game sizes it's like you know call of duty on like my ps4 is like 55 gigs or something like that what's elite like 15 or 20 uh no man's sky is like eight you know and and you're just kind of left with this you know head scratching situation of like how is a game that has so many more places generated I, I, like I, ugh, I don't get it also I haven't I've been kind of caught up on game theory here but there is no blob anymore we're in the nebula and the stars are all around us so there's I don't think there's an actual sky map in, or sky box in this game that is ridiculous like we're in all that cluster that we saw over there that's another nebula holy crap I did not know it did that Friendship drive charging. I did not know it did that like let me rephrase I knew that it, like, if you were in a nebula, it might have a nebula sky map, skybox, whatever, stuff like stuff like that. I didn't know it was dynamic. That as you closed in, the nebula is getting bigger and bigger, and the cluster of stars that you're heading towards is getting smaller and more, sp or, uh, larger and more spread out. I didn't know it did all that. I figured it was like if in nebula generate skybox for nebula, you know, stuff like that. Like you have four or five different skybox things you could rotate around. Oh, that's an awesome star! I'm fairly sure I might have seen one like that before, but not that bright. That is freaking awesome. I love it. I love it. That is cool. That's gotta be a white, or a blue, blue white, but a blue, blue white. Because that's way more blue. It is a blue-white, but that's way more blue than the other one was. Look how awesome that is, though. That's freaking great. Alright, let's test our 500 theory. For all intents and purposes, I should be able to float around 500 and not overheat. We'll probably get hotter than we were before, but we won't overheat. All right, so my next goal from here is to start beelining. Oh, jeez, we just have so far to go. Look at how far we've gone and how much further we have to go. That's just crazy. Uh, yeah, so at this rate, I don't think I'm ever going to get back to bounty hunting. <laughs> um, Fuel scooping complete. I don't have any critical heat warnings. Let's see if we can head towards this nebula, maybe? This looks cool. You can tell, though, as we're getting further away from the core worlds that are... Uh, the... whatchamacallit? The star clusters are getting a little bit closer together. That's seven... That's a cool place, though. That looks pretty neat. Seven fifty. I'm trying to find a target for our next our next set. We know we can do nine hundred now if we're not dilly dallying. Nine oh four. Nine seventeen. The the density is getting a lot more intense, which is cool. I like that. Nine forty five. Let's push it. Let's see how. Ooh, that looks cool. 55. Oh, what are you? This just seems really bright. So we're going to set that as our next destination. And we're going to plot a route. Uh, I don't think we're going to go there this time, though. I am going to end the episode here. We met, finally made it to Herschel. Only took us forever. Um... Yeah, so we went from, like, here to here this time, or it was something like that, somewhere in there. But that's just crazy that that's our jump range for, like, a 40-minute episode, and then we gotta go so far. So let's, all right, I'm gonna spitball this. Let's just eyeball it. So that's one, two, three, four five-ish, six, 
seven, eight-ish, let's just say nine to get there. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So let's just round up and say 20 more episodes before we get to the center is my guess. So you guys will have to let me know if you're okay with that or not. Because if everybody's just like, oh, I can't take this anymore, go home. You know, that's fine. I might, I'm, I, but this is kind of a, uh, ooh, that's cool. This is kind of a, uh, oh, hey, yeah, see, I can actually scan it. Did I? I did set this pulse off, right? Maybe. Yeah, okay. Uh, what's in here? Just that one? Yeah, that's cool. Um, I'm s wow, I'm still not very far away from him. I was thinking I had moved further away from the star. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh! You'll have to let me know, this is kind of like a road trip thing where, you know, the parents are like, make sure you go before you leave, kind of thing. Uh, don't wait till I'm halfway there, kind of thing. So, let me know if everybody's just like, at their wits end, getting, getting cabin fever, stir crazy, whatever. Uh, and we will start heading back. Otherwise, we've got about, roughly, about 20 more episodes before, uh, before we're at the center of the galaxy. That's kind of my theory. Uh, barring at that speed at that rate is kind of what I'm thinking so let me know what you guys think in the comments in the meantime I hope you all enjoyed if you did leave a like and I'll see you all next time peace